war, the war in Iraq, the war that the people of the world marched, demonstrated, and opposed is still taking place. Deaths every day, destruction every day. We were promised the people would welcome American troops with open arms. Tony Blair says the United Nations would take control of the oil and that oil would be used for the people of Iraq. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. The war goes on. A worldwide poll suggests the United States is now seen as the biggest threat to world peace in any other country, even Iran. The annual survey shows a continued decline in support for the US since 1999. So, is that your lot? Yeah. We best get going then. Have you got a panic on our own? Sure. Thanks. I want a minute. in this region, we're reminded of the words of George Bush back in 2003. My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. These are opening stages of what will be a broad and concerted campaign. I want Americans and all the world to know that coalition forces will make every effort to spare innocent civilians from harm. We come to Iran with respect for its citizens, for their great civilization, and for the religious faiths they practice. We have no ambition in Iran. 